in the next five years, you are going to be as successful, confident, whatever, as the top five people you hang out with, hang around with. So when I wanted to resolve this area of my life, the first thing I did was surround myself with people that were already successful. This is from the Mr. Gasoline. Uh, for some reason, when I've decided to approach a girl, I usually can't do it. And I have missed so many opportunities because the environment is too busy or the time for talking would be limited and there are too many people around uh, who could see me and her as I'm afraid of other people and what they think about me when I talk to her. I feel like I wouldn't be afraid of talking to women if I were in an isolated room with just me and her. Are there any ways to improve myself or is this just something normal I have to deal with? I'm not sure if you have a video about this thing already. I might have a video about it. I've done so many videos, I can't remember. So um, you're just uh, afraid of being seen. And that's really what it boils down to. You're afraid of being seen with your emotions and expressions, your turn-ons, your wants, needs, and desires, a little bit of the nice guy syndrome. Uh, you need to go out and practice being seen a little bit at a time. Like if your threshold is like you draw a line in the sand, right? And just get a little past it and then a little past it and a little past it and keep pushing it until you can get more and more comfortable. So I have a lot of videos on going out and desensitizing to uh, approaching. Watch those videos. Check out the ones we've got in the membership site. Check out some of the newer ones we've got in the YouTube channel um, and start practicing being desensitized. But what you really need more than being desensitized to approaching is being desensitized to being seen. If you can find it, look up Brad P's 18 Degrees of Desensitization online. It's a great practice for being seen. Uh, but put yourself through a series of exercises. Get like a free hug sign and go out and do that for a day. And that's you expressing emotion and, and a certain level of vulnerability with strangers and holding the free hug sign up and getting hugs. And watch it. Even have friends videotape it. Put it up on YouTube. Let other people watch it. Uh, create your own YouTube channel. That'll get you seen. You'll have comments galore and you'll have negative comments and positive comments. And you just learn to let it all go. Um, uh, go out and uh, practice. Uh, if you're afraid to be seen, maybe you go out and get dance in public. Go out and find people that are dancing, dance, or, or maybe a musician that's playing. And if you're the only one dancing, that's even better. That way, hopefully, everybody can watch you. Um, go out and give a speech, stand on a park bench and give a tiny five minute speech to start with, then a 10 minute speech to start, start with and start building up your ability to be seen in that way uh, a little bit at a time. We do a lot of this kind of work with you guys because it's so important. I mean, you guys are standing there as a cute girl at a cafe with two of her girlfriends and you won't go over and say anything because you're afraid of what they'll think of you. You won't even ask her a quick question because you're afraid of what they'll think of you. Now, with women walking over and talking to them, <clears throat> the key is start small and build your way up and progressively build it up. Don't spend a lot of time thinking about trying to seduce her. If you're scared to be seen, it's overwhelming. Just get over there, ask her the time, ask her directions, ask her something, you know, about something that's relevant in the topic. Do that every day for a week. Do it like three times, five times a day, every day for a week. Walk over to a, group, a woman that's in a group and, or around a group and just ask a quick question and walk away. And then the next week, make it a tad harder and a tad harder, maybe three days and a tad harder. You'll get bored if you keep doing it. When you get bored, make it harder. And if you get bored, make it harder. Ask a second question. But what you want to do is make sure you're relaxing into your body. Don't do it from here. Make sure you can feel all the way down the core of your body. You can look her in the eyes. You can ask this quick question, then move on um, and, and continue moving on. Now, I know that's a quick answer. But, uh, but there are detailed exercise. Again, it grab P's 18 degrees of desensitization. Rejection proofing is another interesting book that talks a lot about this stuff. And what I recommend, again, if you really want direct feedback, where we're going to teach you how to feel right down your body and how to ground this stuff powerfully, get into, you get to meet like-minded men that are doing the same thing. And you get direct feedback from me or one of the coaches. You'll definitely meet me. But you'll also meet some coaches that have gone through all these steps that are phenomenal at this stuff. And if you really want to change your life fast, there's no better way to do it than to get live instruction. That was one of my beliefs. Now, this is probably the most important piece. Get around people, whether it's us or somebody else, that's already being the way you want to be, doing what you want to do. In the next five years, you are going to be as successful, confident, whatever, 
as the top five people you hang out with, hang around with. So when I wanted to resolve this area of my life, the first thing I did was surround myself with people that were already successful. I surround, I went out and found them. I made friends. I went to, I went out to workshops, network. I didn't just sit at home and read and try to apply it on my own. Unfortunately, that doesn't usually work for somebody that's that's got a lot of work to do in this area. Get out there and do it. Okay. Um, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, remember, only the confident will do.